some of you may remember that I caught a mouse sneaking into my kitchen almost a year ago now. It's taken me too long to get around to adequately preventing any future unwanted access, but progress has been made and you can see this initially where I've boxed in the run of wires with plywood offcuts. After many months, I can remove the duct tape and also look at sealing the remaining gaps with strips of wood. I'm using a combination square to mark an exact measurement so that the length of the timber will not protrude too far. I'm using a solvent-free grab adhesive that will create a strong bond in a short space of time. You won't see me messing around with anything like epoxy resin. It's advisable though to key the surface of melamine and formica with abrasive paper. I needed to create an allowance for the earth wire running down the void between the wall cabinet and the wall. This is the same wire that the mouse was previously using to gain access to my tea bags and sponge. The grab adhesive shouldn't take too long to go off, but I decided to rig this clamping setup so that I could keep my own two hands free and carry on working. There's one longer piece to fill the vertical gap inside the cabinet and I added a second strip, creating an L section so that I could bond this to the cabinet only and not to the wall. My belief is that someone sensible may one day purchase this building and wish to install a kitchen properly. Without question, the cabinets would immediately go, taking only the wood and not the wall with them. I ended up wedging this piece in place with two scraps of wood. You can see that these filler strips don't meet up neatly and, as they can barely be seen, I'm not worried about this. My main objective was to deter unwanted visitors from entering my home. A final coat of paint was later applied and the joints were sealed with silicone. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.